Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Samuel Hassan. I'm an assistant professor at the Civil, Environmental, and Construction Engineering Department. I'm involved with UCF's uh, Future City Initiative, and I'm also the director of Urban Networks Mobility and Dynamics Lab. A little bit about my background. I received my PhD in transportation from Purdue University in 2013. I went for a postdoc at CITES program in CSIR Australia from 2013 to 2016. When I came back to the United States as an assistant professor at UCF from 2016 to current time, my research interests include urban data science, human mobility, transportation network modeling. I also work on infrastructure interdependencies and disaster management problems. Some of my key achievements, I came to US as a Fulbright Science and Technology Fellow. I received Informs TSS Society Best Dissertation Prize in 2014. So far, I have received two NSF projects. The achievement I'm most proud of is that two of my students own Outstanding MS thesis award in CECS in 2019 and 2020. I teach two undergraduate courses, Highway Engineering and Transportation Engineering Systems. I've also developed a new course on algorithms and models for smart cities, which I'll be teaching in fall 2020. What motivates my research? We have embedded a lot of sensors and devices in our built environment. The sensors and devices are sending real-time streaming data to us in, sense, in seconds and minutes. This can completely change our understanding of the city by providing richer insights and novel analytics. So I have been working on urban transportation data, including traffic signal, public transport smart car transaction, social media smartphone devices, and connect in future connected and autonomous vehicles data. So here I will show three applications. So the first application about how to better understand infrastructure resilience in delivering critical urban services, how to improve real-time emergency responses using data science approaches, and how to improve our uh, analysis of urban mobility and congestion using emerging data sets and deep learning methods. So the first project I will be talking about is funded by NSF. This is a collaborative project among seven universities, including UCF. So the idea of this project is to investigate the effects of hurricanes on interdependent infrastructure systems, including energy, water, transportation, and telecom services. And we want to analyze how households and communities adapt and cope with these disruptive infrastructure systems. And our goal is to present a complementary pathway so that we don't want to invest on hard infrastructure, but also how this infrastructure resilience can be shared by through information and resource sharing. In particular, my research involves how to develop a social infrastructural systems using detailed infrastructure, social network, and human mobility data. I give you one example how emerging data sets from social media can be used to understand infrastructure disruptions. So here you can see that we collected Hurricane Arma's data from Twitter where we identified power outage and drinking water related tweets. A lot of these tweets are not representing actual disruption. So what we want to do is that we want to develop a machine learning algorithm that can identify actual disruptions from the Twitter data. And uh, as you see that as the hurricane is progressing near Florida, we have more and more tweets about power outage. At the same time, we also have lots of tweets related to drinking water disruption. So this type of data science approach can remarkably change how we can respond to infrastructure disruptions in real time. My second project is about how uh, to predict real-time population behavior using some data synthesis approach. So this is a collaborative project between UCF and IIT Chicago. So, and we also have some data partners, including Facebook Disaster Maps and SafeGraph. The idea of this project is to how to develop novel information, information fusion method that can merge social media data with government server data so that we have a more representative sample of user preferences and their expected behavior during hurricane. My research particularly focuses on how to develop real-time applications of emergency response so that the de hurricane demand, evacuation demand we are obtaining can be utilized for optimizing transportation research. As an example, we have collected data on I-75 and I-95 during Hurricane Arma and Hurricane Matthew. Our goal is to how to predict or better predict this hurricane evacuation demand using some of the emerging data sets. As an example, we included 
graphic sensor data, Twitter feature data, and we want to see if Twitter data can better predict hurricane evacuation demand in longer term. It is very easy to predict evacuation demand in short term. So we have identified some machine learning models and applied those on the traffic sensor data. And we found that this data can easily predict hurricane evacuation in short term. But for predicting this type of hurricane evacuation in longer term is the most difficult task. So we have seen that if we combine these features and use the important ones, we can actually predict hurricane evacuation demand up to 10 to 15 hours ahead with reasonable accuracy level. This can completely change how we can better manage our resources during an active hurricane evacuation. My third area of research is how to use deep learning models for transportation problems. This has been funded by SaferSim and Florida DOT, and I have been collaborating with Dr. Mohamed Ati and Nabil Aluri um, and uh, Mohamed Saki. So what is, uh, why we are excited about deep learning? Deep learning has created a unique opportunity to, uh, to understand complex problems. Here, it has been very successful and efficient for learning high dimensional graph and image data representation. What we are so excited about deep learning is that it can capture some of the sharp discontinuities in traffic flow using some multi-layered nonlinear functions. For example, here you can see we have plotted the traffic Q length on the traffic signal. So we want to predict that how the Q length is developed in the next cycle. So you see that if the, the actual Q length has some ups and downs over time, and we want to see if we can predict just the Q length from the previous and the current time step to what Q length will be in the next time step. And we applied many different machine learning models and we have found the deep learning system specifically LSTM model, can outperform all the traditional and machine learning methods. So far, for out of this project, we have successful, been successful to get two funded proposals. So the first project is how to develop a high fidelity hybrid traffic forecasting tool. So typically traffic forecasting has been done at a course level of a traffic analysis zone. We want to do is that if deep, deep learning system, develop a deep learning system that can predict traffic traffic at an intersection level. The second project is that we want to develop a co-simulation co -simulation model where to assess the impacts of CAVs on traffic flow stability. So during hurricane evacuation, lots of crashes happen. And we want to see if CAVs can be adopted to stabilize the traffic flow during hurricane evacuation. So in our project, we want to train a CAV agent using uh, deep reinforcement learning methods so that it can manage the traffic flow stability or reduce the um, in, improve the traffic flow stability while evacuating. So, so far these two projects, we have been successful. So in the coming years, we will be working on these two projects. In terms of future research and collaboration, in the short term, I'll be working on agent-based simulation and data synthesis approaches for hurricane evacuation prediction. My long-term goal is to develop a data-centric conversion platform that I'll be work, I'm working with other collaborators, but this is going to be my NSF career proposal, where this platform will be used for assessing the resilience and recovery of disrupted social infrastructure systems. I'm also working with developing network-wide deep learning models for transportation analysis. I'm particularly looking for collaborators in connected and autonomous vehicle research, smart and connected community research, I want to work with emergency management scholars who want to develop technological or engineering solutions for emergency management problems. Another area I'm working on, how to use novel deep learning architectures for solving transportation problems. I want to thank my uh, lab members, outstanding lab members. I want to thank my collaborators to whom I have been fortunate to work with. I want to thank my funding agencies, NSF, FDOT, SaferSim. Finally, I would like to thank the data providers, including Facebook Disaster Maps, SafeGraph, Retis, and Florida Duty for providing us valuable data for free. Thank you all. I'd be happy to take any question.